Rebound by the sophomore. Cummings, full speed ahead. Hits in for two. And one, count the basket for Blake Henson. 18 points, 7 of 14 shooting, 10 boards. He's got a double-double, and he draws a big foul there. Sabandi swings it over to Henson, who's been doing it all and more for the Panthers. Pick and pop. Swing the ball. Back close out. Hits him on arm. Do not want a foul jump shooter. Panthers get their first lead of the night. And a turnover. Henson in transition. Forward to Elliott. Another three ball. Drills it. High pressure defense by the Panthers. Madlock takes the runner. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Greg Elliott. Panthers push the other way. Elliott. Elliott pass. Henson. Clear for takeoff. Two guys known for their three point shooting, getting out in transition. Pushing the ball, throw it up to your big fella, let him finish it. We've seen his versatility on display all season. So Eric Coleman gets his first two buckets of the day. He's got four points. Hughley stared down the defender. Back iron. Offensive board hits in the putback. Roberts over to Racine. Henson over to Hughley, the tandem scoring here for Pitt. A couple of bad shots in a row, possession-wise. Coming in at 3-3 three and three this year off of a four-point win over VMI. He's trying to string back-to-back -back wins as well. That was tipped nicely, John by Henson, and it's 2v1. Henson takes matters into his own hands. With well, a tribe have balanced score, and all five guys are familiar with putting the ball in the hole, so... Henson answers with a triple of his own. He loves stepping back into that position. But like you said, solid defensive pressure right there. Much better than what we've seen in previous possessions. He just made a decision. There's Henson with an and one. Clear out some space here at 6'9", 275. Oh, he can take up a lot of real estate inside. The former Big South Player of the Year. Down low and the dunk. The finish by Blake Henson. You want to stop shooting threes and start pounding the ball inside or driving it. Whoa, a catch and shoot three off the glass by Blake Henson. I'm going to try to dunk this every time. And a Federico, he just drops it in. Federico, Federico. Cummings has not scored in this game. He averages 11 a game, but he has distributed the ball. He had that pass, the skip pass from the three-pointer to Elliott. Yes, Federico lays it in. Excellent feed by Sabandi to Federico as Hendrickson comes up short on the long three. Henson on the run, one on two. Henson galloping to the basket, lays it up and in. What about Pitt and how long it kind of takes to figure this zone out here and what you got to do on the offensive end? You know, it's an adjustment as, as Federico Federico hits there because it, it, you can't simulate it in practice. Good rotation over to Henson who misses on the three. Offensive rebound and Henson finishes after the offensive board by Federico Federico. When you're playing against the Syracuse zone, if you can get some stuff early, here's the cut. Off of he has not played anybody in his career like Armando Bacon. Here is Blake Hinson over Nance for three. Seven to shoot. They get it to Hinson. He's got a fire wow. and connect. A tough turnaround three gives Pittsburgh the lead once again. A little quiet in this game for his standard. But a nice little shot there over the top. About three inches he has on DeMarco Dunn. Nelly Cummings has four assists in the second half. No turnovers. Fed down low. Federico, Federico ties it up at 55 with six minutes left. And he's not the only one in the country. There are nine guys 25 years or older playing college basketball. There's some of that old school game we're looking forward to from Blake Henson. Demarius Burton off the jack step. Three to shoot. Henson with the contested three. No problem. My goodness, even with Hunter Tyson right in his grip. And now Whitehead will launch. A little strong. The long rebound. Knocked around and scooped up Mitchell. Feeds Young. Blocked away Federico. John Shire wanted basket interference. Pick and roll and lively at the rim. Out front. Nice fake Henson. He will get to the basket for the scoop and score. West. Georgia Tech looking for its second ECC win off the heartbreaker Tuesday. 
Off the tech turnover, it's Henson barreling to the cup. Pittsburgh coming alive offensively. They've made four of their last five. Trailed by ten at halftime. Now for the tie. Henson! Henson! That would have been a great NIL opportunity. I can tell you. <laughs> well, you got to think about back then. You couldn't have did that. Easy. <laughs> you know, but these days, I probably ran up did the Superman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm Too small. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we talked with Appleby after shoot around today, and we asked him how the year has gone. He said, you know, a ton of expectations. Henson knocks down another three. Pittsburgh missed their first three shots. Henson, he leaves it short. But stay with the play, Blake Henson. Well, for a guy that did not have one, two in the last outing, hit a lot of threes. Uh, this is just great work off of the steal. Pittsburgh getting everything they went want offensively to start this game, shooting 70% from the floor. Henson continues it with a deep three. And then Henson added a deep one. Panthers well on their way to getting back to where they belong in the NCAA tournament. And it continues from three. Switch it has really affected the Panthers' offensive rhythm. Oh Henson, my. and that's a four-point shot. Oh, my goodness. Blake Henson, they'll only give him three. Where well, you want to run him off the three-point line, but good heavens, look how far away he is. That, that hash mark out. Improved, uh, but nobody thought that they would be a team uh, that's at the top of the standings right now uh, in the ACC. Henson, deep three. He hits it! Denying a bucket for Boston College, and then right here in their secondary break, we talk. Four and a half minutes without a bucket for Boston College. Hinson from the opposite corner. Cummings pulls the foul. By Nelly Cummings, dribble drive and kick it out to one of the better three-point shooters in the ACC. Blake Henson still on fire. Trailing is Henson in a deep three. Blake Henson on the board. That's his first basket. All five players on the floor for Pitt. Transfers. Henson coming down the lane. And a little finesse at the end. And again, you see Elliott's going to try and go over the top to Federico. You can't with Franklin there. That's simply Henson right place, right time. But those have been the turnover prone plays that this pit team's four players average in double figures. Georgia Tech only has one player on the team who averages in double figures. That's Miles Kelly as Federico finishes with ease. Marius Burton, 11 in white, playing in the teeth of this zone here. Pittsburgh putting a guard at the free throw line for the most part. It's led to some good luck from three. And the ball movement early, uh, Joel, has been really good for Pitt. Again, uh, that's a contested three. He's playing confident, aggressive, and he's had success. And when you see the ball go in early as a young player, it just continues to roll from there. Shot clock at one, and Henson finally connects. You're going to have to live with some contested threes. I mean, look, that's a contested uh, three right there. Now, the thing about Pitt. They would also clinch at least a share of first place in the ACC in the regular season is Henson. And that's a great job of blocking out of that time by Pitt. That's a great team rebounding. Henson from the logo buries it. Two threes already for Blake Henson tonight. And you'll see this right here. Uh, Blake Henson, one of the better pick and pops players in, in college. Again. Inside, count it, plus the foul, Federico, Federico. South Florida, this is an awesome back and forth game of the ACC. 20 seconds left, down five. Henson, he's a big shot taker. Oh, and he's a big shot maker. Save the basketball and then Terry with the kick ahead. And Terry deflected, Moore got it, and then he tried to fire it ahead to Terry and didn't get enough on it. Henson a deep three. Thank you, foul. 14 for Kelly, Jackets to within four. Inside, Henson the strong move and hoop. Eight now for Blake Henson.